Welcome to our flying graphics. I want to say this tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this NS, NSV, NSN logo with Pixel Lab. You open your Pixel Lab, you see under the default text here, we go to edit to edit the text. This logo, I'm going to be very creative. I'm going to use letters to make this NSV logo. So you pay attention. I'll be using letter V. So the font I'm going to be using for the letter V will be available at my video, at my at the video description. So you don't forget to download it there. So this is the font. The font name is Vamine Vibes. So you can get it from the video description. So this is the font. I've changed. Uh, now this is my letter V. I'll increase the size of the letter. Make sure you uh, you turn on your ruler so that you get the appropriate measurement for the logo. This is sign graphics. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now I'll make a copy of the letter V. I'll make a copy. I'll edit it. I'll change it to U. Changing it to U. That doesn't mean I'm going to be using the same font. You can see the U font with this Vamine Vibes. So I'm going to change the font again. The same, the second font, the link will be available at the video description. Don't forget to download it. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel. Second font is Lemon Milk. You can get it from the link from the video description below. It's a sign graphics. You see both of them. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lock the V uh, later. I layer. I'm, I'm, I'll lock it. And I'll pick the U. I'll adjust it. You watch very careful. So I'm adjusting my logo. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as a sign graphics. Here's the voice of a sign graphics. Please read my voice tutorial on a sign graphics. Yeah, we adjust your U. You see the way I'm adjusting it. Now what, what you're going to do is that you're going to insert the shape. And this shape you, you it can be any shape, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm using the square. You change it to to the dark color of the shape. Change the shape to dark color, then you make the proper adjustment. You turn and you rotate it the way you're seeing it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Sign Graphics um, for more exciting tutorial, for more tutorial about logo. And if you have any opinion, if you have any logo idea in your mind, you can share it on the comment box below. So I'll make a video about it. You see, you, you make a photocopy of the shape. You paste it in the, in the position uh, you're watching on your screen. This is a Sign Graphics. Now after you add, arrange them like that, now this is what you're going to do. You arrange all the layer, then you make them together measure layer together you go to erase color you see the way i did what i did on that erase color i remove out the black color now what i'm going to do is that i will make a copy of the work yeah i make the copy then you turn you make one of the you turn off one of the video this thing or one of the one of the layer and you merge them both of them together to get you a single a single shape and this shape now if you go to cropping then you turn and you adjust the way you're seeing it don't forget to subscribe to my channel at design graphics now you, if you're watching very careful you're seeing changes to our shapes and our litter we've been putting together you see now you make your adjustment you make a copy you rotate it as you watch on the screen and you make your adjustment like that see the way i'm doing it you turn on your roller so that you watch it very carefully you manually you make you use the movement key to move each of the shape around now what you're going to do next is to make them together to make them together you go to the layer you select them then you make them together you confirm now we have gotten our logo the other thing now is how to present the logo so you want to present the logo this is the logo now how you present it now i'm going to change the texture i'm not going to be using a color or any background so this is the background i'm going to be using for the texture the background is available by the video the link at the, at the video description don't forget to subscribe to my channel make sure you enable maintain ratio make sure the scale is 100 you okay it from there what next you're going to do you go to 3d shape and this 3d shape you enable your 3d shape you but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to be using two or three or so. Increase the darkness to at least 79. Yeah. The darken level of your 3D shape to 79. Then the S as is rotation. This is how you're going to do it. You adjust it. I hope you're watching it on the screen. Make sure you set it to 20 degree. You adjust the Y as it to minus 29 degree. Then the Z rotate of your 3D shape. You adjust it to 14. I was okay. Light angle, you adjust it to 305 or 306. 
improve the tutorial intensity it's on 80 you leave it there I increase your shadow to 100 specular hardness you will also leave it there next thing you're going to do now you're going to you go to background of the whole work now you go from gallery that's where you change your background the background is available at the video description don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my video you give a thumbs up press the notification button so that you don't miss any updates about my tutorial on assign graphics now you adjust your logo you see the background if you know if you notice now the 3d adjustment i was doing to the logo is to make it fit to the background now that i've inserted the background you notice that they are, the, our, our logo now have a fit to the background so the next thing you're going to do you go to emboss you enable it yeah it's a mistake so you set back the light angle to 305 increase the intensity to 86 yeah that is the intensity of your emboss then the ambient light you're going to see how we're going to adjust it yeah, adjust it to 48 yeah and the specular hardness we're going to adjust it to 66 and the bevel of the tree of the ember of the embers will, will reduce it to one and that will be okay we've gotten our settings from the embers now we go to shadow you enable shadow make sure you change the shadow background to black yeah to see the color adjustment i'm doing to the shadow background then you, you reduce the blur radius to four or three for the purpose of the tutorial we're using four in the offset x as is increase it to three offset y as is increase it to five and that will be okay for our shadow now we have gotten our logo and the background so the next thing we'll do is just our text so this is how i'm going to put the text you watch the same step i used on the logo i'm going to be using it on the text please don't forget to subscribe to my channel at assign graphics it's ns nsv sv logo style if you have any logo concept in mind you can put it on the comment box of the video below or any of my logo tutorial video this is assign graphics is the voice of assign graphics don't forget to subscribe to my channel at assign graphics you adjust your logo this way you adjust your text this way then use the same font lemon milk the font we use for the U, they are available at the video description. You see the way I adjust it. The same background I use for the logo, that is the background I'm still, uh, the, the, the background texture, that is, that is the one I'm still going to use for the text. You see the way I added it. So if you have any question, you put it at the comment box below. If anything is, go, is wrong here yeah, that you know I'm not doing it well, you put it at the comment box below and I'll be happy to correct them. You don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Sign Graphics. To get any updates about my latest tutorial video if you have if you have question about my videos if you have uh, you have an event or you want a logo you can contact me my whatsapp will be at the video description below this assign graphics you watch the way i'm making my adjustment so that you don't make any mistake watch very careful watch the video to the end so that you understand what i'm trying to show you this assign graphics don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorial now I'll, I'll cop, make a copy of the test, then use a slash, this is a slash, this is a slash later, but I'll make the adjustment like this, you adjust my logo, you adjust them, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I'll make a copy of that slash again, put it behind, now I've, I've, I've gotten the logo, this is the perfect logo for you, forget to subscribe to my channel at the sign graphics.